Hey guys, in this video we are bringing you first official stills for the HBO's upcoming Game of Thrones prequel series House of the Dragon, which is about a Targaryen civil war, known as the Dance of the Dragons, that tore Westeros apart over 100 years before the original series. Although production on House of the Dragon is still very much in progress, audience is getting a gift with official images of the series' main characters. Here are some close-up shots of its main characters. First, we have the Sea Snake himself, actor Steve Dusson as Lord Corlys Valerian with silver dreadlocks. This series is about a Targaryen civil war that breaks out when King Viserys dies, and his children Rhaenyra and Aegon start a war for the Iron Throne. Both claimants to the Iron Throne have allies and the most prominent on Rhaenyra's side is Corlys Valerian, the head of an ancient Valyrian house with a powerful navy. Valerians had for centuries remained, the oldest and closest allies of the Targaryens, and in this war they chose to fight for Rhaenyra. During the conquest, it was Valerian ships that carried Aegon's soldiers across the Blackwater Bay, and later formed the greater part of the royal fleet. The most famous and strongest Valerian to ever live is also one of the main characters in the upcoming House of the Dragon show, Corlys Valerian, known as the Sea Snake. He's a fable, the Lord of the Tides during Targaryen Civil War, Master of Driftmark, and the head of House Valerian. House Valerian, much like House Targaryen, is of Valyrian descent, and its members often have Valyrian features, such as silver hair, purple eyes. But their skin is different because, unlike Targaryens, they have married outside their own family. The Sea Snake is the husband of Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the queen who never was, King Viserys' cousin who especially loves Rhaenyra. During the Dance of the Dragons, Corlys becomes hand to Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen, who is his niece and daughter-in-law as she marries his son. The Sea Snake's life before the Dance of the Dragons was just as exciting. As a matter of fact, he's getting his own Game of Thrones prequel show named Nine Voyages. Corlys is also a good friend of Rhaenyra's uncle, soon to become husband Prince Daemon. Lord Corlys and his fleet fought alongside Prince Daemon Targaryen during the war for the Stepstones. When Daemon declared himself the king of the Stepstones and the Narrow Sea, Corlys placed the crown on the new king's head. Lord Corlys Valerian sits on the Black Council during the civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons. He's the greatest lord to pledge his strength to the cause of Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen, who was opposed by her half-brother, King Aegon II Targaryen. More than half of Rhaenyra's army is made up of men sworn to House Valerian. Corlys's fleet also gives the Blacks superiority at sea. When Lord Bartimus Soltiger pressured the princess to fly from Dragonstone to King's Landing at once, and reduce the city to ash and bone with her dragon. Corlys demanded to know how that would serve them, telling him we want to rule the city, not burn it to the ground, which tells you much and more about his character. Later in the story, Corlys even saves most of the great families of Westeros by sending envoys to the Lannisters, Baratheons and Hightowers, who had been Aegon II's main supporters, suing for peace, preventing the Wolf of Winterfell, Kragen Stark, from marching on them as he wanted to continue the war until all Rhaenyra's enemies were destroyed. Corlys is going to be one of your favorite characters in House of the Dragon. From Queen Rhaenyra's allies we go to her enemies, Queen Alicent and her father Sorodo Hightower. Rhaenyra is the chosen heir of her father King Viserys, and totally expects to be a queen when he dies. But as all good plans, this one fails as well, because she has a rival in the form of her dead second wife Alicent Hightower, and her father Otto Hightower, the Hand of the King. Instead of Rhaenyra, they prefer that Alicent's first son by the King Aegon Targaryen take the Iron Throne when King Viserys passes. Alicent is of course wearing a green dress, the color of her house and of her factions that support her son Aegon while her father Otto is wearing the Hand of the King pin, as at this time King Viserys is still alive, and he is his hand, although he held that same position before King Viserys, and will wear it after him. Alicent Hightower is a member of House Hightower, who becomes the second wife to King Viserys I Targaryen, and therefore a queen of the Targaryen dynasty. She is a daughter of Sir Otto Hightower who had been the hand of the king to Jaehaerys I, Viserys I, 
and later his grandson Aegon II. She is the mother of King Aegon II, Queen Helena, Prince Aemond and Prince Daron. Alicent Hightower is in many ways the true leader of Aegon II's faction, during the Dance of the Dragons. Alicent's father, Otto Hightower, had been the hand of the king in the last few years, of the long reign of King Jaehaerys I Targaryen. In 101 AC, Otto brought the young Alicent to the royal court, where she cared for the aging king. Jaehaerys eventually died in 103 AC, while Alicent was reading to him, and was succeeded by his grandson Viserys I. Alicent stayed at court, as her father continued to occupy the position as the hand under Jaehaerys' grandson and successor, King Viserys I Targaryen. Already early in the reign of Viserys, Sir Otto and Prince Daemon Targaryen were at odds with each other, and the court full mushroom has suggested that the quarrel between the two men began when Daemon deflowered Alicent. The truths of these tales have never been uncovered. Viserys I, first, first Queen Emma, Ren only produced one living child before her death, a daughter Rhaenyra. In the years that followed, Alicent caught the eye of King Viserys I Targaryen, and Viserys chose Alicent as his second wife. They married in 106 AC, despite the whispers of people who believed that the hand had risen above himself. Some doubted Alicent's virtue, as rumors began circling that she had given her maidenhead to Prince Daemon, and had later even slept with King Viserys, while Queen Emma was still alive. The notorious mushroom suggested that Alicent had been intimate with the late Jaehaerys as well. Nonetheless, Alicent was wed to Viserys. At first, young Rhaenyra and Alicent got along well, but the rift grew between them as soon as Alicent produced her own children for Viserys I, and clearly wanted them to succeed to the throne instead of her. Alicent bore Viserys I four children, Aegon II, Aemon the one Eye, Daron the Daring and Helena, who became the sister-wife of Aegon II. Over the years of Viserys' I reign, despite his best efforts, a bitter rivalry grew between Alicent and Rhaenyra at court, as well as between their rival factions of supporters. In 111 AC, a great tourney was held at King's Landing, on the fifth anniversary of the king's marriage to Queen Alicent. At the opening feast, Alicent wore a green gown, while Princess Rhaenyra dressed in Targaryen red and black. Soon afterward, their respective followers started dressing in similar colors and styles, to display their political allegiance. Rhaenyra's faction, the princess's followers, wore black clothing, and Alicent's faction, the queen's followers, wore green clothing. Ultimately, this inspired the nicknames for the two factions, the Blacks and the Greens. The Blacks Rhaenyra supporters included the Starks, Tullys, Arrhen, Starleys and Valerians, among others while the Green Salicent supporters included the Hightowers and the Lannisters, among others. The Baratheons started out as Blacks, but switched to the Greens when the Civil War began, while the Tyrells may have been Greens at first, but during the Civil War itself declared themselves neutral. Viserys I publicly and repeatedly made the great lords of the realm swear oaths that Rhaenyra would succeed him on the Iron Throne, as the first ruling queen. But when he dies, his wife Alicent and his hand, Sir Otto will be the first to support Aegon II, who is their own kin, and not only support, but stage a coup. Last but not the least, we have this close-up shot of Rhaenyra and Daemon Targaryen themselves, the two key figures of this series. Daemon is a younger brother of King Viserys I Targaryen, while Rhaenyra is his daughter. That makes them uncle and niece, who will eventually also become husband and wife as well because this is the Game of Thrones universe, and they are the true Targaryens after all. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the dragon scales on Daemon's arms and Rhaenyra's dress. Rhaenyra Targaryen, King Viserys' chosen heir, a dragon rider who grew up expecting to become the first ruling queen of Westeros. King Viserys' chosen heir, a dragon rider who grew up expecting to become the first ruling queen of Westeros. Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, cheered as the realm's delight, when she was young and later called the Half-Year Queen, was the firstborn child of King Viserys I Targaryen. Rhaenyra was King Viserys the first only living child by his first wife, Queen Emma of House Arryn. At the age of eight, she was made her father's heir, and grew up expecting to become the first ruling Queen of Westeros. Rhaenyra was a dragon rider whose mount was Cyrex. Rhaenyra had her family's Valyrian looks, wearing her silver-gold hair, 
in a long braid, in the manner of Queen Visenya Targaryen. Beautiful as a child, Rhaenyra was later declared by her uncle, later husband and the man who is standing beside her in these photos, Prince Daemon Targaryen, to be the most beautiful maiden in all the Seven Kingdoms. Daemon Targaryen is also a key figure from this time period, and is George R. R. Martin's favorite Targaryen. Daemon was the most controversial man of his lifetime, an audacious rogue prince, and an adventurer who seemed made of good and evil in equal measure. There was never a man so loved and so reviled and at the same time as he was. During the Dance of the Dragons, as the husband of his niece Rhaenyra, he supported his wife's claim, and he was considered by many the most dangerous man in Westeros. At the time of her father's death, Rhaenyra was on Dragonstone awaiting the birth of her child. The Green Sinking's Landing ensured that the news of Viserys' death did not reach her until her own supporters in the Red Keep were dead, or imprisoned, and Dagon II's coronation had already occurred. This began a devastating civil war that tore apart the Seven Kingdoms, known as the Dance of the Dragons, as it was the only war in which both sides had the Dragon Riders. Well, there you have it guys, first official stills for the upcoming Game of Thrones prequel series House of the Dragon that will air in 2022. Stay tuned for more! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace!